Alright. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try this some more, try to find some more, try to harvest some, and get a couple extra. And I'll bring y'all back. Okay, so built, built a little bit of a structure here for on our base. The so I went out and farmed a bunch of pillars, and I got one more, so we got two. So this is basically what I got. So I gotta put that there. All right, so we're gonna fire this off. Okay, for science, since the maps will give you something else, I'll try this. Same one. Yeah, it just gave me the same one twice. Okay. So, I wonder, we're going to have an issue here, probably. I'm not sure how this is going to work. This is going to work. Let's see. We only have six. to read all that. Oh, I forgot. Let's see if it does it again. Okay. Harmony. Nope. Okay. So scan from memory registers. So, yep. It's going to be 15, so we can't, we're not even going to be able to do this. Put override glyphs. Oh, maybe it'll let me. Let's see. So I don't. I don't have the actual glyphs. All right. So let's see. Memory. I gotta figure this out. All right. So write these numbers down. Alright, so 12 minus 8 plus, 8 plus 3 is 12. So we 8. Not the world's greatest is bad. 7 plus 2 is 9, and that's pretty given. And 15. So this should be 8, 9, 15. Okay. So we're going to access the mainframe and put override glyphs. Oh, 8. 9 and 15, so 8, 9, 15. Well, good news is you don't have to actually have the glyphs to make it work. I put them. Oh, seven. Seven in it. 
move, but... Compliance. Access granted. Harmony awaits you. Lift lockdown. Terminal buzzes. Discorrent, but its circuits do appear to comply with my request. Whatever force was locking down this camp was has been lifted. With the lockdown lifted, the terminal spits out blueprints for a piece of hybrid jetpack technology. A fusion of Sentinel and something else Something familiar and yet distant. Alright, there's the backpack. Alright, so... I appear to be freezing. Okay. Oh good, this is the black one. I like the black one. So, we're going to... Deactivate multi tool seal. Harmonic seal deactivated. Okay, so. Do I have any old multi tool? What is that one? Oh, that's one I got from the... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna get rid of one of the first multi-tools I bought. Inverted mirror, inverted mirror, inverted mirror, at Liam, crystallized hearts, those are from the turret guys, the big crabs. Alright, so I have at Liam. I got a lot of inverted mirrors now. Alright, so radiant shards. Got plenty of that stuff. Okay. And then they're basically the laser. So I don't think it's an advanced laser. I think you actually have the. Testing for science. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a regular laser, regular mining beam. Now there's a bunch of these little wheelbarrows you can go through and pick up the scrap. It'll give you different things. Ah, exo exosuit expansion. Oh, that's nice. Our suspicious packet. Rusted metal. The kind of random drops. Nanites. 
And I will tell you, in multiplayer, if one person picks this stuff up, the other person can't. At least that's what we experienced last night when I was playing with my son. Um, Alright, so we got everything. The terminal has ceased digital digital welding. So we're going to locate a disconnect spike. Now this is going to tell us where our ship is. I really want to know how to trigger the thing when you're flying through space. Distance spike coordinates. Alright. Uh, we can't claim expedition rewards, so we can't get the Utopia speeder. So, this will be the next best thing. Alright, so I'm not sure what we're going to get. I have seen one ship that's really ugly. I don't want to, I really, really, really don't want that one. Oh, that's promising. I found one that was last night that was like a basic. It was basically the middle part and then two little tiny rails on the side. Okay, these are the missile and the menacing ones. Alright. Alright. So I'm gonna go back here. You access it. This is all free stuff. You take this into your inventory. Now this you're gonna need. This you have to have. Alright. So we're gonna need radiant shard, inverted mirror, and a harmonic brain. That's what that the bottom one, that's your brain. So you're gonna have to have it repaired. Alright. Ten inverted mirrors. I want you to pick the thing I had the most of. Pocket C feed lost circuit seventy one antilinium. The sixth. Now supposedly this is you can break this down. Uh, Captain Steve did a thing on it. You can break it down and get the info out of it. Alright. So now we have to fire this off. I knew I saw a building on the other side of the mountain. Right there. Alright. So it's gonna keep the ship marked. So we're not gonna have we don't have to put it you don't have to put it on a marker if you fly away, you won't lose it. Which is really nice. So if you do end up getting a ship quest in space, it'll send you to the planet to a ship. You find the ship, you go get the you go it'll send you to once you find the ship it'll direct you to a radiant pillar and then once you go to the radiant pillar you get the inverted mirror and then once you do that you can go back to the ship or, I believe then you, then you get far off the brain but it'll direct you to the pillar. That's what it did to me. It directed me to a pillar. But then when I went to the pillar, I ended up fighting the wave. When I fought the wave, it sent me to another ship. Because the or ship. Yeah, the wave sent me to a ship. Um, the echo. The echo. The echo device will send you to the. Um, the compound. Everything else sends you to the ship. The ancient site stirs as I approach. Stone scraping against my stone. Warmth radiates from hy hyaline brain. 
within my pack as though in response. The mind of the ship child is interlocked with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies and mesh archival sentience with struggle entity. Present the brain. I fumble with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably, unbearingly hot in my hands. The pain radiates far beyond my hands, an unearthly heat, a heat that melts glass. Its circuitry shifts and then glow, grows still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. And now we have a harmonic brain. Oh, I just fed you. So I'll try to get my ship. Alright, so launch thrusters. Go ahead and pop those off. Anything else they need topping off? No, oh, we're good. Trade terminal. Alright, All right, come back, interact with our ship. Glass soul. Present it. So, okay, so you need one inverted mirror, two radiant stars. So that's why it sent me to the inverted mirror to get that. And then once I got that, then I probably would have done the Havana brain. But I ended up going to another ship and getting another brand. Alright, compare. Oh, this is an A class. Oh, alright. And the other say the only thing I've ever found is a B class. This is awesome. Compare. It actually has more technology slots than my current ship. And more storage. Than my S class. Alright, claim the ship. Dude, you're leaving on my ship. Alright. So gonna ahead go ahead and put Starship, Starship, Starship. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to this ship. Put all this in the other chip so I can put it in my freighter. Okay. Well, I probably actually can go straight into the freighter, can I? I sure can. Go ahead and pop this off. What do we get? Okay. Alright. So, hop on our ship. Alright, need to move some stuff around. So, it has a phase beam, a sentinel cannon, a phase beam, and the. So, it has the photon cannon, phase beam, and rocket launchers already installed. Alright, so this is going to require Pugnium. So I need to get that Pugnium. Let's see. Let grab that. So this one takes Radiant Shards. So we need Pugnium for the liftoff thrusters. We need radiant shards for um, pulse, and then this is the hyperdrive. 
So it takes hyperdrive, of course. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Seriously? That's freaking awesome. Hyperdrive only requires a one radiant shard. No longer having to make hyper warp can the warp canisters. Oh, that's game changing there. All right. Put that there. So this is. Yeah. So this can go over here. Rocket launcher here. This is shield. Alright. Let's see what kind of all right let me see if I can inspect this out a little bit with uh, some tech so pulse engine so what do I have as far as s class one hyperdrive A mining beam Advanced mining laser. Okay, that works. <laughs> All right. So. For now, but I don't have any upgrades. Check this thing out. All right, so in case I cut it out, I uh, upgraded a bunch of stuff. I had some put some shields because I had uh, some extra tech stored in my freighter. I try to keep the I'm trying to keep A's and S's. I do keep some B's because right now I don't have a lot. So I did go in and I added uh, some A shields. I added a couple of uh, upgrades to the phase beam. Um, some some photon cannon and then we added some maneuverability so we got the maneuverability up to 106 or 1000 so and then Harper Drive we got three on it um, I can't install the indium drive yet I need some more emerald which I can get that later all right so storm's gone let's take off Cool. So the nice thing about these is they can hover. So if you do want to mine stuff off the ground, like shards and stuff like that, you can. Now, the uh, radiant, the, uh, the the radiant spikes or the radiant pillars, or what are they called? Let's see. The radiant shards. So the radiant shards you have to mine with the mining beam. But like if you come up, you see a bunch of the little blue the atmium, or if I can find any, you get some to spawn in. Yeah. So you can basically harvest it for your ship without ever getting out of this ship. Stock up. There you go. All right, so this uh, these can probably be our new main ship for a while because say how what's our hyperdrive? Hyperdrive RAM is 1367. I think it's more than the other ship. 
Okay, now there's a building. I'm just like curiosity. I want to check because I have that. That was my. That, this one here is set up for um, warping because it has the those hyperdrive or the hyperdrive is set up. No. Why does it take off? So it doesn't give me any stats you know, if I'm not in the ship. Okay, so we have a 900 maneuverability. Hyperdrive is only 848, and the shield strength is 284, 333. So our damage is 440. Shield strength's pretty much the same. Hyperdrive is 1367, and maneuverability is 1064, which is better than that ship. Alrighty. So there's a freighter. So maybe all the ships will be in the inside the freighter. Yep, all ships spawned in. Alrighty. So, see, it's even it's even better than this. Our our main fighter. Damage is 491 on this one. Uh, but our damage is 440. And that's an S class and that's an E class. So I think that's going to be our new ship for a while. Alright, that's our collection. But, uh, I think, did I get a, did I get a, I got a new hauler, right? Yeah, I got that hauler over there. So I may end up scrapping this one. I don't know. I'm pretty sure what I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep one of them. I'm just not sure which. My hope, my plan was to, I wanted to use the haulers when I'm haul, when I'm moving around on the planet. But when you get attacked with pirates, they got no maneuverability. Like 193. I think, I think I've done some stuff to this one over here. Yeah, that was 340. But still, even this, the worm is 277. See, that's nine, 900. And then the fighter, which is what I usually end up using, is uh, 800. So, I'm probably not going to. I'm, I think I like the better. I would really like to look at that one over there better. So, okay. Well, we got the ship. Oh, let's go to the space station.
They do feel a little fa faster. So I don't usually do this, but here you guys go. If you're interested in it, there's a coordinate down there on the screen. It looks pretty damn awesome. I like it. All right, well, there's your screen. There's your the coordinates if you like this ship. Looks like it's purple and a white. This is a dark purple. Let's see, you got it's over here. Alright. I don't usually do much changing to, to my character. So backpack. See how it looks. Alright, let's go ahead. Do I have any saves? So, alright, I'm gonna save this. No. Alright, I'm gonna save this. So, save two. Do I have any capes? I don't have any capes though. No. Yeah, I haven't unlocked any capes, I don't think. Oh yeah, I did. I have that one. Alright. Save changes. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to keep it. If y'all don't like it, let me know. It makes him look like... He For such a little guy, I like I hit the hit, hit it on the door on the way in. All right, should be nanites back. Or we're not in a Viking system. Can I get in here? Oh yeah, I can. I forgot I have the outlet. What have we got? I got some containers we can open. Nothing found. Life support gel. Health. Life support gel. And it's carbon. Ion battery. And some more and some stuff. Oh, this one up there. So you can come check out these back rooms. Each one of them are a little different. So we're in a GEC system? Yeah. I'm not going to have to go, I thought I was going to go do a bunch of runaway mole and actually uh, upgrade it, but since it's an A class, we're not going to need to right away. There's no freighter down there.
Alrighty then. I'm gonna call it here. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Leave a comment down below. And hope to see you in the next one.